Right now, the fear of losing their home or property is very real for some across the Commonwealth as they continue to wait to get answers for the rent relief program. For the landlords, this has been a disaster. Landlords not getting paid. Tenants are frustrated and they have every right to be. They're told that this money is available and it is available. Tenants waiting and property managers saying recently the rent relief program has not approved applications in a timely manner. And then at the end of 2021, it transitioned over to the gov to go program. And that's where I think a lot of people are frustrated because we're not getting the same type of response that we got previously. We asked gov to go about the issues, but they directed us back to the Department of Housing and Community Development, DHCD. In the latest numbers that they provided us, they say they had about 40,000 applications that are in the process of being reviewed. They say they're continuing to monitor the program to streamline the processes for maximum effectiveness and efficiency to administer assistance to as many Virginians as possible, which they claim in turn will keep landlords whole and tenants stably housed. The I-Team interviewed property manager Kelly Miller. She says this week they've had eight applications approved compared to just five in the past four months. We've been reaching out to them for four months and then all of a sudden this report airs and we start getting approvals every day the last three days. So I'm waiting to see how many we get today. She and others say what's also difficult is that if the cases go to court, they're not being handled the same way. It depends on the jurisdiction and it depends on the judge. In many cases, what we're seeing most often is that if an application has been submitted and we're in that waiting period, the judge is going to continue the case uh, on a month by month basis. Leaders with the Virginia Realtors Association say there are a lot of moving parts in this issue. It's a learning curve. It's a new system. They understand that. DHCD says that they've hired an additional 200 people to help alleviate some of the backlog, but they couldn't provide us with an average wait time per application, saying that every case is different. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3. News 3 investigators have been looking into the Virginia Rent Relief Program for weeks now. Look for our comprehensive coverage right now on WTKR.com.